Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, we'll be solving lead code problem number 17, letter combination of phone number. In fact, if you have attended our recently concluded workshop on recursion and backtracking, this problem would be very easy for you. And we will be conducting more similar workshops like that. If you are interested, please do consider joining our telegram group. I have mentioned the link in the description. In this problem, we are given digits of a phone number. For example, here we are given the digits 2 and 3, right? In our keyboard, in our keyboard, the older keyboards, 2 was corresponding to ABC and 3 was corresponding to DEF, right? Now similarly, what was 4 corresponding to? 4 was corresponding to the next three letters, G, H, I. Similarly, what we have to do, all we have to do is, we have to write or give the output in such a way that what are the combinations that are formed by the digits 2 and 3? What are the combinations that can be formed? Now, since this has 3 letters and this has 3 characters, what is the total number of outputs that we can give? It is 3 cross 3 that will be equal to 9. Similarly, if 4 is included, what is the total number of output that we can give? It is also 3 or maybe it is 4. but the idea is same, 3 into 3 into 3, that will be equal to 27. Or it might become 3 into 3 into 4. Or accordingly. So there are very huge number of possible options. But, but, can we reduce this problem at every statement? Say for example, you are given 3 digits. Can it be reduced to do 2 digits after filling the first place? Right? For example, we filled A here. Or we have the option of filling B here. Then we have the option of filling C. But once you have filled the first letter does this get reduced to the next digit say for example we are given the digits two three and two once again now as soon as we have filled this as soon as we have filled this now does this get reduced to just three two or what we can do is we can keep track at the index and we can keep on moving and once we are done with this string we are done with this string that is we have a big problem to solve this entire digit but once we are done with the first digit, our problem get reduced to the next two digits. That is, we are peeling the layer one by one at each step. That is, we are reducing the number of digits at each steps. Right? So, this is a classic problem on recursion. That is, we are reducing the number of digits at each step. And also at each step, we are adding one letter. Right? For example, we have multiple options for this. That is A, B and C. How do we keep track of that? We keep track of that using a string array. We'll be using a string array for that and we'll be keeping track of this. How do we keep track of this? So now it will be A, B, C. So whenever you search for this A, R, R of 2, what you will be getting? We'll be getting A, B, C. Similarly, when you search A, R, R of 3, what we'll be getting? We will be getting D, E, F. So once you search this, you will be getting all the letters corresponding to this phone number. And what is the first step, step we have to do? We have to write these options, that is A. Let me explain this with the help of a tree. This is the initial function, that is we are given 2, 3. And initially where we are at? We are at the first digit, 2. So what does 2 correspond to? 2 correspond to A, B, C. Right? So we have 3 options as the first letter. We have 3 options as the first letter. Right now, in these three options, once we are done with the first letter, we are increasing the index to one. That is, our index is moving to this three. Right. So, what is the three corresponding to? It is corresponding to D E F. So, whatever is the string, existing string, that is A, will be adding D, will be adding E, will be adding F. Finally, this will be the answer. Why? Because function of two is our base case. Why? Because two is equal to the length of the string or it is out of the length of the string, right? This index is out of bound. So that will be our base case and this will be our answer. That is when we have arrived at the required length, we will be adding this to our answer set, right? So similarly here also three options and three options will be produced and initially we will pass an empty string. Now let us look at the pseudocode. What we are first doing is we are initiating a list of string which will be equal to our answer. And the first step is to initiate a hash map or an array which will correspond to each digit. For example, if you are querying 2, we should be getting this. If we are querying 3, we should be getting this. 4, so on. Now, what is that we are doing? We have a helper function 
this will be the string combination till now what will it be initially it will be initially an empty string up after step 1 it will be a it will be b or it will be c these are three different options that we are doing what we are doing is we here will first check if it is equal to length of the string or not if it is equal we'll just directly add it to the answer if not we will be getting the letters that is a b c we got the letters and for every character what we are doing is we are opening up three branches just like in the previous step or in some cases it will be four branches we are opening those branches and we are calling the helper function once again with all the characters and combinations being added and we are also increasing the index and once the index is completed and all these options are completed so our function is completed now there are few similar problems you can actually solve in order to get better at back tracking these are few similar problems and do consider joining our telegram group where we'll be discussing the solution to this problem thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe